What is up, guys? We're back with another video. Um, we're gonna start off. We're going outside today. I'm scared of the turtles as I walk outside. But today's video, I don't really have anything special planned. I'm just gonna kind of be doing an update on how everyone's been doing. It's been two weeks since we posted the last video, so um, yeah, I'm gonna take out all the turtles, show you guys all the turtles individually. Um, we'll do a checkup on the peach throat. He's been upgraded to his new enclosure. He is no longer in the quarantine enclosure. Um, and the female monitor has escaped again, so hopefully I find her later today. Um, so yeah, we got a lot of things in the store, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm already outside, as you guys can tell. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and start grabbing some turtles. Firstly, this is what we're looking with. Y'all saw me set it up the last video, but I have gotten plants since setting up the pond. I got some more. Uh, papyrus. This is a different species than I've had before. I've rearranged the hardscape. Like, that's the other species of papyrus I have right there. It's slowly starting to grow, so hopefully it'll be nice and tall like this other one. As you guys can see right there, my hecantha is flowering, which I am super hyped about. And yeah, this is the pond. The floating, this stuff is just floating lettuce left over from what they ate. You got a nice rock to come out and bask on. This rock gets uh, like literally direct sunlight most of the day, so this is like their almost like their hot spot. Um, where if they just want to get out of the water and not be in direct sunlight, they can still get here. So we have the natural UVB. Looks like my Chinese golden thread is coming out to say hello. Hi, buddy. How you doing? I ran out of pellets, so they're really hungry for pellets. So the last couple days, I've literally just really been giving them greens. Um, so now I need to go give, get them some pellets to feed them. If you look under here, I think you can see my Indian spotted turtle, or at least the bigger one. Yeah, I don't know if y'all can see that. Oh yeah, there she is. Look at her, that's her head right there. Let's see if we can spot anybody else. I don't see anybody else. As of right now, like I said, we will be going through grabbing everybody over here. We got Frank, which I found out uh, earlier today. Frank and Barbara are not Cumberland sliders like I've been talking about. They're actually just Florida cooters. Um, the person who I got them from, um, he told me they were Cumberland sliders. I don't know if that's what he was told or he just like that's what he thought they were. But turns out they're actually Florida cooters, which is fine. I still love them nonetheless. Still hope she gives me some some eggs and um and get some babies going because they still are breeding size and i mean they are breeding so so hopefully you know we get some action but yeah i just wanted to chime that in real quick because yeah i've been calling them cumberland sliders ever since i got them and they're not even that. and then here i got a bunch of water sylvania i can't the water lettuce and you can't see but there's a ton of minnows in here there's actually even a shiner or two in there um, I thought she was going to eat the shiners, but she seems to not care about them at all. Um, but I will feed her in today's video too, but I'm actually going to just reach in and grab her out. I'm going to call her over here. Bye, lady. You're not getting food. No. No food. No food. I'm just going to come from underneath her. Oh, look at that big lady. She's so beautiful. All right, she's starting to get antsy. So put her back in the water. She is gorgeous, and she is the sweetest snapping turtle ever. So let me just pet her. Let me see if I can get in a good area and show, show y'all just me fucking with her. In a good way, I don't ever harm her or anything like that. She's my lady. I don't pick her up by the tail. You're not supposed to do that. Giving her some booty scratches right now. She's not appreciating it. Usually she likes the pets, but she's just not in that mood right now. So that's the that's the snapper. She still doesn't have a name. I don't know if I'm ever gonna name her. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Going in this pond. I'm gonna try and do this with this uh, the least amount of cuts as possible, because that's more fun that way um yeah so right here i don't know if y'all can see we got the albino chinese soft shell franklin 
who I got from Mike Lorette. He actually, he's the one who produced this little guy. Um, and he donated it to Crockfest for the auction in 2022, I think it was at Crockfest. And maybe, I don't know, it was either 2022 or 2023 Crockfest he donated it to and I actually ended up getting this dude. And he has grown so much since then. He's doing amazing. And surprisingly, he gets along well with all the other turtles. But does not like me. Isn't that right, buddy? Yep, that is Franklin. I'm just gonna loop him back in there. Um, I saw another little dude move right here. Yep, yep. Oh, he's too fast. There he is, got him. Right here we got Stevie. The female. Mm -hmm. Thinking female though. Stink pot musk turtle is what species this is. I don't know if it's a male or female. Name was original Stevo, uh, originally Stevo, um, but if it's a girl, it's gonna be Stevie. Uh, here's Astro, who is my big old male. He is a male. Stink pot musk turtle, or common musk turtle, whatever you want to call them. They're the same thing. Very pretty, I love them though. Not really a big fan of musk turtles. I do like the Razorbacks, but I'm not the biggest musk turtle guy, so I don't really keep a lot of them. Let's see. All right, let's see if we can get this Indian spotted turtle to come out. Come here, lady. All right. Doing this without destroying the hardscape is very hard. But here she is. She is doing amazing. She's beautiful. Let's see. If I can zoom in on her face. Beautiful turtle right there. I want to see if I can get her swimming over here. I want to show you how much her neck is healed so she'll extend her face. See that little scarring? That's all that's left from that big old scab that was on her neck. There's that white little mark. So, very glad that healed up really fast, actually. Um, let's see what else we got. So, if I remember correctly, or if I remember correctly, if I can guess correctly, and if I know my turtles well enough, my spiny soft shell likes to hide in the roots of this papyrus, just like Franklin's doing. So, if I... wiggle around in here, I bet we can come up with another soft shell. Nope, I'm not feeling anything. Okay. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we missing? We're missing the Chinese golden third we haven't taken out. Haven't taken out the other, the spiny soft shell. And we haven't taken out <clears throat> the pink belly. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video here and uh, cut to us finding them. All right, so we've done a little searching around. I'm gonna put this papyrus back in place. I see the Chinese golden thread. We're gonna get the golden thread out. But then I think I'm gonna call it just because I don't want to completely destroy all this hardscape because I just set it up. And now, look at this guys. I accidentally bent the papyrus. Hopefully that is fine. But yeah, um, like I was saying, I don't want to completely destroy this hardscape because I like it a lot. The turtles like it. And I want to keep, just, I, I move it around like every other day. And I like this final product. I just want to let the plants grow. So I don't want to destroy it just looking for these turtles. It also just stresses them out. Um, oh, there's the pink belly. He literally just emerged. He's the one I was most worried about finding, dude. He's the shyest. Hi, dude. He just emerged, it's like he knew we were talking about him. Let's see if we can grab him. Come here, come here. Aw, oh, dang it, I missed him. Oh, we I, I forgot Cosmo, I found him though. Oh, here, here's the golden third, here's the golden third. I'm finding so many turtles. They're all under that log. 
Here we go. This is the Chinese golden thread. Beautiful turtle. Shout out again to my homie Daniel. He's the one who uh, sold me the Indian spot turtle and also hooked me up the Chinese golden thread because of the mark on the, the spotted turtle's neck, which I wasn't even worried about that scab on the neck. I would have been fine with just the turtle. But, dude, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. I love this fucking turtle a lot. He's, he's really, really cool. Chinese golden threads are a very underrated species, in my opinion. Alright, let's see if I can find Cosmo. I forgot he existed. I feel so bad. My first ever turtle, and I forgot about him. There he is. I feel him. He feels like a rock down there. But yeah, here's Cosmo, the razorback musk turtle. Who I think is actually a female. But I'm not entirely too sure. But my best guess is it's a girl. But yeah, I like Razorback Musk Turtles a lot. I would definitely get a couple more Razorback Musk Turtles. I may get some more common musks, but not a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of them. Calm down, dude. You're fine. My favorite thing about the Chinese Golden Thread is his face. Let's see if we can get a video of it before he scoops in the water. He's just got the prettiest stripes. Ah, uh, you can't see it. Worth a shot, worth a shot. Alright, so now we're missing the pink belly, who is again, once, emer once again, emerged. Right there. So let's see if we can grab... Come here, come here, you little... Yeah, come here. Little turtle, come here. Come here. I got him. I got him. You little shy dude. This... It's a gorgeous species of turtle. Everyone knows them if you keep turtles, or if you don't, well here you go, pink belly side neck. I am hoping to get some albino pink belly side neck soon. Because they're gorgeous too. Who are these two? All right, so now all we have left is the Spiny Softshell, who is very, very hard to find, and I don't think I'm gonna find him. As much as I look, I can continue looking. Yeah, okay, I'm not gonna completely destroy the cage just to find the Spiny. Soft shell. Let me rearrange this stuff because it's all messed up. Alright, I'm just gonna cut the clip and um, I'll see you when I get the other animals out. Alrighty, fixed all of that. Now let's grab the turtles. Alright, here we got Frank. The Florida Cooter, not the Cumberland Slider. Big boy. Yeah, you are, dude. I love him. Put him back. Right next to him, we got Barbara, his old lady. Also, a Florida Cooter, not a Cumberland Slider. This is a good video. You can see her nose that was bit off, but she's still doing great. Now we have to find the, the shy motherfuckers. The shy dudes that are in here. Let's see. If I can find y'all, where are you hiding at? There's one of them. All right. And this is the black pearl. Which is a melanistic red ear slider. trying to see if I can get some good lighting on here. Um, Black Pearl is a melanistic red ear slider, as I just said. It is the Chinese, 
Yeah, I think it's the Chinese version of the charcoal morph. Charcoal is just the uh, American bloodline of melanistic sliders. Fun little fact, but yeah, dude, it's how gorgeous that turtle is. Personally, I like the black turtles, or black pearls more. As you can tell, that's why I have one. And the hell is this other turtle? There you are, Casper. Come here. Now this is Casper. She is a high bino ready or slider. Let me get that scoot off for you, darling. Hey, don't bite me. I'm trying to get your scoot. See, you're welcome. Beautiful turtle. I love her very much. Now, high bino is just a hypo albino radiator slider. She is shedding like crazy. Probably gonna go through. I like helping them get their scoots off. It's really satisfying peeling them off like that. And they look super gorgeous after shed. But yeah, so that is all the turtles inside. Now let's head inside. All right, coming in the living room. We got the quarantine tank. And um, I'm sorry, I have not plugged in the lights, so I'm working on plugging in the lights as I try and talk. And I'm not good at multitasking. But um, anyway, so we got the quarantine tank for the turtles, the 20 gallon. And then we also have the new peach throat enclosure. Um, and I also want to show you an Amazon tree boa because it's gorgeous. So. There we go. All right, got the lights turned on. Let me flip the camera around and show you the quarantine tank. All right, so this is the quarantine tank with the little pink belly and my little baby Indian spotted. You can see the baby Indian spotted right there. But as you can see, I got a bunch of Amazon sword plants, some rocks, um, and I now also have some minnows and some floating plants as well. I don't know where the pink belly side neck is, but yeah, that is the quarantine tank. But well, let me go ahead and grab the turtles out and show you what we got in quarantine. Alrighty, first up, we got another pink belly side neck. Um, this is one of the dudes in quarantine, actually the clutch mate to the one outside. But this guy was just getting out competed for food, so I have him in, in quarantine so he can grow up and get. Oh, almost dropped him. Grow up and get bigger. He's. If the camera doesn't want to focus. Yeah, he looks beautiful. Here he is under the tank lighting. All right, buddy. Let me reach in and grab the Indian spotted. Do I have right here? You go ahead and take him in the room. Better I decided to take him outside because you know why not? Natural lighting is always the best. So yeah, this is my little baby Indian spotted turtle. This guy was actually produced by Wayne Hill. Um, my friend Alex actually hooked me up, he actually gave me that pond. Hooked me up and bought this little dude and gifted him to me from Daytona Reptile Expo. But look at this gorgeous little guy. As you can see, they start off with a lot of spots and as they get older, they slowly lose a lot of their spots on their shell keep a lot of the ones on their face and um, the spots start to turn yellow like the big girl that's in here. But yeah. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that turtle, man. One day soon, hopefully, it'll be a little bit bigger and be able to get moved into the pond down below. Camera does not want to focus today. All right, let's go ahead and go put him back inside into his quarantine cage. And there he goes. Fix the lighting back on top. Oh, he probably went in too. 
Hope I don't care for Yeah, there is the little Indian spotted turtle. Moving on from the quarantine cage over to this side, we have the peach toad cage. Um, he is so shy, guys. He still has not eaten for me. Um, these are just like that. Um, at all, he doesn't seem to be interested in food. I'm gonna take him out and show you guys he's getting really skinny. I'm trying everything, hoping he'll eventually start to eat. He has started to become more comfortable. And with that, he has um, been starting to explore his cage, which which is good. So hopefully he'll start eating soon. Um, but yeah, this is his cage. I definitely do want to add more cork rounds for him. Ew. Yeah, it looks like he didn't even touch his eggs. It's just not good, because they love eggs. <laughs> there he is, hi buddy. Hi. Come here, let me see if I can get you out. Come here. Come here. Ah, that's probably best because I'm good. I don't want to stress him too much. But as you guys can see, he's looking really, really skinny, especially in the tail. Um, I just hope he'll start eating. I hope he hasn't started crashing because I absolutely love this guy already and I would love to see him thrive, get bigger and do great. This is, again, this cage right here is just temporary um, until I can move him, until he gets a little bit bigger and he gets upgraded and he'll be into that cage like Dennis and Danny. Gosh, man. But yeah, I'm just nervous with him not eating. It's making me scared. I'm gonna go ahead and make some scrambled eggs because that was raw eggs and see if he'll use some scrambled eggs for me. Um, hopefully he does. If he does, I'll try and get it on video and I'll add it to the video. If he doesn't, then he won't see him again. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the side so y'all can see him better. Here's a better look at his enclosure. Here he is right here. Hi, buddy. Hey, Joey, how you doing? Right. You can see that gorgeous peach throat. Need to change his water. But yeah, you, you, you guys see how skinny he's looking? He's just not looking. Oh shit, he's coming out. <clears throat> Buddy, you can't go out the door when I haven't shut the door. Come on. Thank you. That was actually good. I thought he just was about to dart. But yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make him food. And uh, hopefully he eats. Hopefully he starts eating for me. All right, and now let me show off this beautiful Amazon tree bow I have in this bioactive tub. It's actually my roommate's. Um, still beautiful, we do plan on breeding her. Oh, look at her right there. See if I can get her out. Maybe. Ow, shit. Look, she got me. Hey, hey will you come out if I tease my thing for a spoon? And she's actually like an adult female. She's very, very big. She somehow fits herself in this tiny ass coconut. And she loves it, so it's the only reason I still have it in this cage. Yeah, that is the Amazon tree boat. A little sneak peek of her. Oh, it's a little too zoomed in. Come on. Can I get another strike on camera? Come on. <laughs> she keeps getting me, but I want to get like a good strike on camera. Anyways, 
I'll leave her alone. That is the Amazon tree girl. Get some scrambled eggs. Let's see if he will eat them. Hopefully he doesn't get spooked. We're gonna be messing with the door. This is very skittish. And at the moment, I'm not really caring about making him tame or not skittish. I just want him to fucking eat because I do not want him to die. Come on, buddy. You're okay, you're okay, you're okay. Okay, he jumped. He was he definitely smelled it and seemed somewhat interested, so I'm going to try and prop this up somewhere. Boom! That's gonna be his little feeding dish actually. I like that. Hide it a little bit. Push some plants so we can't really see it. And we can put some food in there. You know what? I'm I'm also going to dump these freshly dead discoids. I don't want to still like dump them in there too. So we got a little buffet. Hopefully, hopefully my dude will go for it. Just do it. But do y'all see just how skinny he is, man? It's just not looking good. Not looking good at all. But hopefully, he'll start to eat. If he, if he can start to eat, I'm going to be fine. I won't be stressed about it. Because once he starts to eat, I can get him to keep eating. I promise you all that. It's just get him to start eating first. With all that being said, what am I doing, guys? I don't... Gotta have the ass sign on. Um, anyways, with that being said, y'all, I'm done with today's video. That's an update on everybody. Y'all, fingers crossed this monitor starts to eat. Um, cause I'm getting really worried. Um, other than that, y'all have a good one. If you liked the video, like the video. If you enjoyed, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell for new videos. Like I said, I will be dropping videos consistently. Um, I'm sorry I took a two week break. There honestly just hasn't been much going on. So I haven't really had the urge to film anything. Um, but yeah. Peace out. If y'all have any suggestions on how to get my peach to eat, please leave it down below. I promise y'all, I've tried almost everything now, and I've talked to a bunch of breeders and everything. I'm not a noob, so I don't treat me like a fucking noob. I know what I'm doing. Um, I just need him to eat. Anyways, y'all, peace out. Y'all have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe down below.